Hey all, this is Ursa, and welcome back to the pit. It's time to jump into the Ursine Abyssal once again and deal with the gibbering or gibbering or jabbering prophet. Who the hell this may be. The raving madman, Doom Baron, Apocalyptic Herald, uh, next in line for our level 5 bosses. So, hey, here we go. Uh, War Dog, the Legend Vestal herself, Healing Trinket, Stress Reduction, you know how this works, Judgment, Dazzling Light, and the usual spiel. Wild Child, because he is weak to blights and gets a lot of moves. This will help burn him down just like we did with the Siren. That's the idea, at least. Uh, Noxious Blast, Plague Grenade, Stun, and the Battlefield Medicine in case things get fuzzy, and Incision in case shit gets weird. I'm not entirely certain what I like better here. I'm probably gonna leave it like this in case someone else gets blighted or bled. Uh, Blade Master Matt here. Again, we need to be able to attack the fourth position. So obviously our Vessel does that with Judgment. We have Noxious Blast, I mean, uh, Plague Grenade to do that here. Uh, Blade Master Matt obviously can do this with Hound's Rush and get the Scooby-Doo treats. Uh, target Whistle, yeah, probably less useful here, so I'll probably switch out for Hound's Harry here. But depending if we get a lot of those generals or not, things don't bleed very good in here, so this is less useful in the ruins. So I may keep this just to reduce prot on big targets. It's, it's going to be up for grabs what I'm going to do. For the last fight, it's definitely probably going to be uh, Hound's Rush and uh, Self-Heal primarily. And last but not least, we have Lady Locke, the Legend Hellion herself, with the Wicked Hack, the Iron Swan to hit the fourth position, Breakthrough, again, things don't bleed, I might switch out to the Yawp if I feel like it, and a Self-Heal and a Self-Damage buff if needed. Uh, that way to counteract both Breakthrough and also just, you know, help yourself out. And the self heals are going to be important if we, you know, start taking a lot of damage there and stay in Death's Door. We'll be able to self-heal before the rubble drops and hopefully not die that way. There's a lot of self-healing in this party for that reason. We also have ability to prevent nighttime ambush. So basically, we're about as ready as we're going to be. So let's beat the hell out of this guy. All right. And I hope it goes well. I mean, we could also get a really bad dungeon set up to crawl through the whole thing and then really suffer for it. So I'm not really sure how this is going to go, but I'll do my best. This is the ruins. Holy water is handy. Uh, skeleton keys are handy. And this is all free here, by the way, because we have the farmer aplenty kind of thing. We might go nuts on the food just so we can use it to heal up. Don't want to go too crazy on the stacks because obviously we only have so much room, but I will go nuts on per one stack effectively. Let's see, we're going to use some of these. Probably use some of these. Yeah, basically this is raw supply week uh, right here, as you can tell. Bumper crop. So, pretty good. So let's double check. Got food. Plenty, got torches, got plenty, got, oh, we don't have shovels. Derp, derp, four shovels, six keys, and a little bit of everything just in case. Our job here is primarily to wreck the boss, so any other consideration secondary. And I will, oh my god, I need to remember the damn Scooby-Doo treats or it's going to be the death of me. All right, but I forgot to mention the trinkets here. Cthulhu medallion for obvious reasons. Here, damage, bleed skill chance, and healing to counteract. And here we have the... Crescendo box for damage and stress relief and dodge because she partially depends on dodge to survive. So, okay, I think that's enough. I think we've got everything. Let's rock and or roll. Finally, resigned to his uncommon corporeal resilience, I lured him to the dig. There, I showed him the thing and detailed the full extent of my plans. Triumphantly, I watched as he tore his eyes from their sockets and ran shrieking into the shadows, wailing maniacally that the end was upon us all. Yeah, that ended well. You let a crazy guy run off and the do more crazy. His mind Wonderful. Ah, he said titter. Alright. So obviously we're going to have a bit of a journey here. And the problem is we don't know where that journey is going to end. It could either be up here or here. This could potentially really, really suck. So we can go one, two, three, four squares here and then we have to go three this way or three that way so I don't know this is gonna be a bit rough to figure out that's what I was kinda of hoping not for we need to hit the profit kinda of fresh so I have no idea you really good trap disarm right? Yep. so luckily they don't have a fight early there's a hallway fight upcoming we'll survive hopefully onward get the alliums thank you all finding the stuff is only the first test Empty room. Now it must be carried home. And get me a cure. Ooh, double. Someone's got a ruin scout here or something? I think they must. That's a ruin scout. Ruins explore. There we go. I knew she was good for this particular encounter. Oh, damage buff. Yes. Give it to someone who needs a lot of damage. Basically, strike damage. So either you or you. 
Uh, let's give it to you, young lady, who does the big swinging. Great favor. There we go. Hells to the yeah. Well, let's put that 30 damage to use. And it sounds like we're gonna need it. Okay, good enough. Let's start killing things. Mm, can only get one target at a time. That's alright. She needs to die because stress long term is gonna kill us here in the long dungeon. So I can't let out, allow that to happen much. Too late. Also reduces torch life, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does a lot, actually. Which is irritating. And more stress overall. God damn it. Great. We need to start killing things faster. Can't do much here, though, unfortunately. Give us some breakthrough at least. And then we're going to go ahead. Might be able to kill her here. Yup. Give them no quarter. Let's go ahead and start doing damage. We can get a pretty solid stun here. Got a 70% chance to stun or thereabouts. And we resisted. That's awful. That's awful. Why did you resist the stun, you jackass? Oh, that's really bad. Can we get a lucky stun here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Double resist. No luck. No luck this run so far. We're in. If we have a bleed, we'll probably have to purge that off. It's a 12 damage bleed. That's no, no bueno. Come on. There we go. Now, we could Noxious Blast this off. First, I'm going to get rid of that bleed. I won't take any more in my hand master if I can avoid. I want to keep everyone as tip-top as possible. Right, let's go ahead and start doing some damage to this punk ass. 14 crit. You gotta go back to the pit. Alright, let's see. Uh, 19 and this. We can probably do enough damage with our Hellion. I think that's the only damage we took here. Let's max out our Handmaster to keep him all alive and stuff. Good. The bleed is 3 with a Noxious Blast. If this hits, of course, it'll be a kill. It does. He did. Alright, a little bit of stress, but so far everyone's none the worse for wear. Which is solid. Alright, let's take a look here. Got the key. Treasures! Wow, so many things. God damn. Alright, we're gonna be... Okay, this I don't need. Definitely don't need. Everything else I'm pretty much gonna keep in case we get into some weird encounters. I honestly probably don't need the bloody anti-venom. There's not a lot of blights here. So I'm gonna start stacking money. Eh, no, actually I'm gonna start taking busts. Wait a minute, you can stack. Damn it, busts. Why are you messing with me? I'm gonna take money like that. That's how we gonna do it. Yeah, probably really didn't need the anti-venoms, honestly. But hey, they were free. I'm not gonna say no to free anti-venom. Honestly, who would say no to free anti-venom? Foolish. All right, disarmed. I was disarmed by their charm and candor. Let's go here. Empty sacks. I hate empty sacks. They bother me so. All right. Check out what this room is. Go. The light. The promise of safety. I'm burning torches like crazy. I have extra. Okay, we got ourselves. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of fights through here. She the balls. I mean, this has got less fights on the way, so I'm gonna hope he's down here first. If not, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm still feeling like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Okay, one stressor. There we go. Immediately. Immediate stress. Okay, still within reasonable amounts, though. We can. I feel like Yawp would be handy here. And a triple dodge. That sucks. The big one. Can't stun anything worth a damn. That's really annoying setups here. Haven't gone anywhere with this. This fight is not going good. Already. And there's the first crit, just to give the extra fuck you. Alright, fair enough. Let's see. Can we get a stun off on this guy? Come on! There we go. Very good. Alright, hit it. 17, and he gonna die now. He gonna bleed, baby. Alright, he's not a piggy, but he gonna bleed. The slow death. Yeah, anyway. Unforeseen. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Stun his ass, we take less incoming damage, thank you. Surprise that blackjack and this stun failed last time, I was really unlucky. Stack the damage there, I can just do one heal and I'll be fine. Uh, noxious blast on the... We can take extra pain, and we can't stun you next round anyway, so we should fuck you, see you. Heal you up. 24 crit. Not bad. Reducing some of that crit stress. Uh, and we can go ahead and start beating you in the face. We'll do less damage. St uh, it's still a lot of damage. Yeah, plus 30 is pretty good on someone who does ridiculous damage. Alright, uh, let's see. Can we go on the stun here? Maybe. 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 Yes, we jump. A blazing star is born. 
Good. Blight you. Bloody blighter. I'm gonna kill him. Almost. One HP away from something good. Uh, you can lick your wounds, you can kill the thing. Let's just kill the thing. Solid work, folks, solid work. Oh, we can get us some food on in here. Kill that up. The Blight Charm, I really don't care. It's a really crappy trinket. You know, if you're using those torches first, let's do it like that. Fine, I'll deal with it later. Okay, so another curio in an empty room. Holy water. What do we got? Lots of valuables that we can't take anywhere. Well Alright, well, I mean, I'm definitely leaning toward the whole probably not gonna take this stuff situation. I mean, as much as I want money, I'd rather... Yeah, these are just singletons. I might take, get rid of, uh, you know what, I have, might have to go through a lot of this dungeon. I may have to go through a lot of this dungeon yet. Let's not go nuts. So I have this. No scout, but we kind of did this. There's a room battle with Curious. We're going to check out this way first because it's the lesser of two evils temporarily. Hunger event, done. Nice and easy. We're going to avoid that in case there's negatives. Go there, Even open that up. You know, that might give us a map, actually. Hold on. Passage. Who's not as stressed? You are not as stressed. Can we go up in this Curio for a second? Come on. There we go. Knowledge of Thin Forever Changes. Positive, positive, positive? Hard Noggin. Nice. That's a good one. That's Stun Resist. Unerring. Okay. Well, that was a good one, too. But, alright, I'll take it. What is this? There's a good fight in here. The way is lit. Their stress is a little high there, Wild Child. We need to do we something about that. Only the strength to and we got double stressors here, so that's definitely the priority. I do not want to take any more stress than I have to from these jack acids. So we're going to stun them up. I'm going to try to get some kills with Iron Swan. The damage I can not worry about for a bit. See so if we can get... Uh, what's the easier kill here? All of these are pretty annoying, actually. 9 to 15. Uh, let's see if we can get this going. Yeah. It's not going to be awesome what we're about to pull off here. Let's see. 25. Okay. Can we get a judgment on? Yes. We got one of them dead at least. And that one's stunned for this round. But he's going to go first next round, so I know what I can do. And these guys can do damage, so we got to be careful on that, obviously. Yeah. Ren for the old gods. There's a dodge. Good job, Houndmaster. And now he's going to go first. He's so fat. Lucky, 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 lucky kill. Damn. I was hopeful. Well. That's 15 stress. That's, that really starts adding up. Like, that stress number starts adding up. Because that number never goes up in your life in this game. It number never goes up. Ren for the old gods. Yeah, that's quiet. And we're going to go break through here. They got a bleed on you. Okay. Let's go blackjack you. That should reduce the incoming damage a bit. Very solid. Break through, please. Continually nice. onslaught. Good damage. Them you have to remove that bleed at some point. Wild Child might be able to do that for us. Let's get an AoE. And we probably should kill this before anything weird happens. That is extra damage to Unholy. I'm surprised at how low that rolled. Another Rend is going to start stinging after a while. I really got to stop getting hit. It's 20, 20 health already, so that's not awesome. Well, we're going to have to go here to deal with this guy before he gets another swing on us. Maintain the offensive. Let's get uh, an Adrenal Heal here. He's going to do another swing, but I want to get a round of healing on if possible. And let's go ahead and do some Battlefield Medicine. Well, we can Noxious this guy make it easier to heal. We'll have to do a direct heal on our Houndmaster. Okay, let's... Ooh, this might kill him, though, if we're not careful. No, it shouldn't. No, it's fine. Then this guy's gonna take this turn, and then we're gonna die. Or he's gonna die. Let's see. That's fine. Okay, he's gonna die, then. I'll take the opportunity there, just not take any more big swings. Okay, we should have taken the Onyx. <laughs> Dully noted. But a victory, nonetheless. Alright, we're gonna keep using food to heal up a little bit. So we're still topped off. Still got a lot of food for hunger events. That's fine. We're going to, again, avoid these uh, like the plague for now just because, well, you know, we can't get stuff. Let's see. Can we even bother opening this right now? Because we don't have room. We don't have to camp. We haven't camped yet. Oh, let's see. Oh, crap. It's locked. I should have opened it. Oh, good. Well, that's fine. Double scout, double scout, double scout. Tell me there's a prophet here. Okay, double scout tells me prophet there. Okay. So we did pick the right direction. That's fine. We're going to camp right after this room battle, which we can definitely handle. There's a lot of obstacles between us and him. 
which is very lucky we got all the shovels. We, you know, maybe sort of quasi overdid the shovels, and uh, turns out we didn't. So scary stuff. Curio in here? No, just the room fight. Okay. Room battle, as you would have it. So we're gonna definitely use one of the Scooby Doo treats for the room battle. See, I'm thinking. Now you're thinking with portals. All right, we're gonna do like that. As the light gains and then purchase, we're gonna jump in. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Made clear. Okay. Lighter room battle than usual. I'm not gonna say easy because it can still go badly on us. 65 in the blight. Really? Okay, let's go ahead and try to get multiple targets and the double dodge. Son of a bitch. Alright, that's not gonna go well. And a stun resist. Okay, what else can go wrong? Obliterated. How much harder are they gonna make this on me? Doggy. The spitter is annoying. They do have the venom, but this guy stuns. Bleed, bleed, dead. Great is the weapon. All right, good. On its own. Great is the weapon. Right is the weapon. Oh, there's our dodges now. Now we going. Now we going. Solid. Good damage, actually. I like that. Breakthrough. Good. We got the next move. Oh, I was afraid it was gonna be Spidey over here. This is the most accurate attack I have. I don't need to stun, but it's a guarantee that we're not gonna get any more damage this way. Just gonna kill it. It's enough damage on that. Solid. Okay. Get rid of this last torch. Don't need it. Rot low and the mud. the mud. the mud. Okay. Take that, and we're gonna take the two citrine. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna use it, like I said, I was gonna use the dark tree, but that fight was so trivial, it was not necessary. This is me making excuses for forgetting again. <laughs> Go figure. Crest will become useful. Don't need this no more, practically. I mean, there's gonna be another curio down here, but the odds of it requiring a bandage are low. Does the prophet do bleed shit? Hmm, don't remember. Does he do blight stuff, and I maybe I shouldn't have pitched my anti venom? I don't remember. Missile herbs aren't going to help me anyway. Um, hero to eliminate combat debuffs. Oh. Como sa? Oye, como sa? Okay, interesting. Did not realize that. All this time playing this game, I didn't realize that functionality. So anyway, what are we doing? 500, yeah, we're going to take the crest instead. That's fine. We're going to camp here. Yes, camp, 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 camp. We're going to feast through distress. The, the battle may yet be won. battle may yet be won. All right. So first of all, no nighttime ambush. That's job one. And then that's also, ah oh yeah, we could, probably should have used Town's Watch. But again, there's no more fights in between us and the boss. So that really wouldn't have helped us anyway. That's fair. Self stress. You can self medicate and reduce stress, right? Ten stress, remove bleeding, experimental va vapors. This is a big healing received. Okay. The healing received may be handy on people who are going to take a massive spanking here. Let me quickly encourage you. Make sure you start doing big damage. I want that big crit. Big old critties. All right, three left. Seven stress, nine stress, ten stress. That's within reason. So is there anything we can really max out for damage here? Self-medicate, we can't do. Ten accuracy would be good so we don't miss anything important. Yeah, I think that's going to be the key. Yeah, I don't need to heal myself, but the 10 accuracy is going to be used so I don't miss any blights whatsoever. This needle is for me. Alright. Good. Okay. We know where our job is, folks. We know where we're headed. Crate is empty. One more obstruction. Thank you. I'll be surprised we get the last hunger event before the last boss, but not so much. Okay. So maxing out on torches In now. May we find oh, do we need a frontline position? No, we don't need any frontline abilities because he doesn't shift us around. He just kicks our ass. Um, so judgment, dazzling light, dazzling light. We don't even need anything really help. No, I mean we're not gonna be using this ability. We're gonna be just straight up healing on you. It's fine. Anything we need to shift around here. Stun is not gonna be useful in the prophet. Um, and noxious blast is not either. I think. No, we're never going to hit the... Our strategy isn't hit the pews. Let's go ahead and... Just in case stuff gets... Yeah, that's not going to help me much either, though. Incision. Why would I need incision? Let's keep the strong stuff going. Yeah, all right. We're leaving that one alone. I'm just double-checking here. So target whistle. He doesn't have any prote. 
He doesn't have any proto, I don't think the Prophet does. So, Hounds Harry's not gonna help me either. Uh, yeah, let's synergize this with the uh, Hounds Rush. I think that's still the best strategy. Self wound. The stun is not gonna help me any here. So, when we move that to. I mean, I have no idea why I would use this in this fight, but whatever. And last but not least, Lady Loft, the Legend Hellion. Don't need the Yawp, don't need Breakthrough, pretty much. If for some reason we kill a Pew and he moves up, we might as well have this ability. Self heal in a pinch, wicked hack, and all this. Okay, solid. So we're gonna try to bless as many people as possible here before getting into this fight. And we're gonna remember the Scooby Doo treats. I keep saying that, and the more I say it, the less I believe it. Okay, we're maxed out, we're set, we're ready to go. Eyes sharp. Whew, let's kick some ass. The madman. There is the gibberer. Behind the pews. Spouting his mindless drivel. Crumbly earth, stone, and blood. Blood! <laughs> Good. Now we're gonna mark first so we can do some serious whooping. We're gonna do the best we can here. So you have no pro. You just have dodge. Yeah. Let's go like that. Then we'll get some more hound damage. And then we're gonna get that dog treat next round. Let's get that going. 17. I wish I had that, still had that buffer. Alright, let's go ahead and just judge him for now, because it's gonna sting no matter what happens. Fulminate, what does that do? Uh, ah, Blight, so I sh shouldn't have gotten rid of the anti-venom. It's gonna hurt. 39, Jesus. Okay. Same two again, not so good. Good lord. Okay, that's unfortunate amount of damage right there. They can just go up or that roll really freaking high. We can't take a lot of those swings. There's a dodge. I could not afford. I could ill afford that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, we're not gonna be able to s survive this one. No matter what, we're going down to. Um, no matter what's happening, we're going down to Death's Door, so this is gonna suck. Alright, Doggy Treat. Hounds Rush. God, that thing hurts like hell. Okay, let's go ahead and play Grenade him some more. Buff around, three per round. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to see, because if that Blight hits and we're at Death's Door, that's not gonna end well. Two dodges. Oh, oh, nice. Nice, dudes. I really want my Houndmaster dead. We can focus the self heals, maybe. That should be okay. Keep the Iron Swan. There's the hit to make up for the missed last time. Okay, we need to keep plaguing. He's getting double targets every time, too, which is unfortunate. I'll try to do a direct heal here. 10. I don't think I'm going to handle 30, though. The sooner we kill this SLB, the better, I think. 35 damage. Good dog. Good dog. It's a very low blight chance. Oh, that's really unlucky, though. Oh, God. Houndmaster's gonna go first, though. That's not good. It's not good. He's gonna go first. That's really not good. That's really not good. Oh, shit. We gotta do something about this. We gotta kill this SLB. No! Don't miss it! Okay, okay. How much does he have? 12. But I can't, I can't not cure this, because if he dies from this, I'm never gonna forgive myself here. Okay. Uh, the party heal's pointless right now. Try to deal damage. 18. He's taking nine ticks now. Taking nine ticks now. All right, how master, buddy? This is this is what we play for. There we go. His own demise. All right, we got him. As long as he remains Brutal dead. damage on a level five version. Of this and we got two targets at once. Signet, that's pretty cool. Mount, ten accuracy, ten pro. So two will resist. And we got a Cthulhu amulet. That's fine. We don't get anything back for these supplies, so just take it and go. We're very very low on health. We can't really continue this one. So we'll take what we can get. That was a fair shake. We've spent nothing provisioning for that, so I'm okay just coming back with what we got. We did the job. Job's done. 
and the profit is no more. This eye is really good though for our sniper. 10 accuracy, 2 speed, and less stress. So we can get this and a damage trinket on, and whoo, Nelly. It's gonna be good. Even if it's like eventually a plus 5 on stress from the damage trinket, it's still gonna do loads of damage. Nice. And an accuracy buff too. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be sniper time pretty soon anyway. Beast Hater replaces Wheel Tactician. Early Riser replaces Cope Tactician. Alright, well, I think I can live with that. Solid work, everybody. Good job. I'm glad everyone survived that. Because that could have been... You that could have been bad. The tragic extent of my failings. Could have been very, very, very bad. Okay, so 83,000. Not too shabby. What's next? We gotta get the next bosses activated. So we're down to three bosses? Is that accurate? I think it is. Yeah, we got the Prophet, we got the Necromancer versions down, so we just got the Brigand 16-pounder, the Formless Flesh, and the Drowned Crew. And then the Darkest Dungeons. Wow. And we got everyone else resolve level 6, so we've done pretty much everything in the roster goal except for these three bosses in the Darkest Dungeon. That's pretty cool. We did pretty good on our first attempt at this. I've, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I rarely, rarely do that well my first go at a game, but this, is, this has been pretty good. This one is more or less pretty... Pretty non-forgiving, so yay. Let's go right there. 1400 to reduce your stress. Loft, same thing. And it's all. Oh, you can't pray. What do you do? You are a tippler. You drink. Okay, that's fine. Gonna have a drink. There you go, son. All right. Just want to keep everyone active in case we have another fight coming up. Cause we're gonna need Blade Master. We're gonna need Lady. We're probably gonna need. Well, those two primarily. And I guess maybe even hmm, to hit all targets. Yeah, might even have a very similar setup to run the 16-pounder to make sure we can hit all positions. We may use a sniper for that, though. I don't know. We'll feel that one out when we get there. But for now, this has been the Darkest Dungeon. Let's see if anyone came in. Anyone new arrived? New veteran hound master in case we lost one in that fight. But we didn't. So, ha, huh, stay, stay back, fiend. The Abbey. Can we increase you anyway? Yes, we can. We can finish up the Abbey here. Penance Hall. Done. The Abbey's officially maxed out. Very happy priest doe achievement. So we got, so let's see. This is maxed out. Our blacksmith is maxed out. Guild is maxed out. Survivalist, no, we know. We can put crest that later. Tavern is almost maxed out. We can get portraits. So we need it there. Abbey is maxed out. Sanitarium is maxed out. Nomad wagon, we can put crests to. Graveyard is graveyard, and then answers and memoir. So yeah, so we can start getting rid of busts now and put them toward portraits. We're gonna do that. Get the flip on. The yeah, busts for portraits, exactly. No, that. There we go. Three to one. That's a rough ratio, man. But deeds to portraits. Not crests. Not crests. Though maybe. How much is this, how many crests is gonna take for a portrait? Six to one. Well, that'll max it out here. Actually, because we need 11, I think, for the bar. Let me check this out before I screw this up. And probably need to put this away. 11, yeah, so we can totally do this. Crests for portraits. Then we're going to close that off. We're going to do that. All manner nice. Of diversion okay, and, and I think then those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. we're pretty much done. Two to three for crests. Nice. We're going to do that. And now it's just crests. Just crests. And we can't do bust for crests. That's alright. Uh, that's pretty solid because now we can start focusing on the Nomad Wagon Survivalist. I think because we may be buying interesting camping skills, now because I've been neglecting it the whole time, I might go for the Survivalist first. And then we'll go to the Nomad Wagon. I think I'm really drowning in trinkets at this point. I don't need that many. Alright, well that's our improvement for the day, our home improvement for the day, and I'll see you all next week. Same Ursine time, same Darkest Abyssal Station. Till then.